This video shows you how to get the best out of the Climate Action Tracker's new and updated Data Explorer. Here's where you find it. And this is where you can download the CAD data from our country analysis and ratings and our 1.5 degrees Celsius compatible benchmarks. Let's start with country emissions analysis by clicking on it. On the left here, you can select a country and you'll see its emissions projections. Let's have a look at Argentina. You can see historical emissions, emissions projections under policies and action, targets, and the different CAP frameworks. You can get more detail on the numbers by hovering on top of the graph. Now, back to the country box. You can add more countries so you can compare them. Let's add Chile, for example, and Peru. You can either type or select. Now we can see how our Latin American countries are doing. Of course, they have different sized emissions profiles, but you can easily compare trajectories and action. Let's see how far or close these countries are from their respective 1.5 degrees emissions limit. You can remove the rest by clicking on the legend on below. And if you're not sure what that means, you can always hover on top and there will be a pop-up on the legend explaining what that means. If you scroll up to the top right, here you can download the data and for these three countries or make a graph out of it or even download the whole data set. Okay, let's go and see what country ratings page has to offer. This is where you can compare all the CAT country ratings and their subcomponents. You can see we've listed all the CAT ratings here. Let's look at Argentina and add Chile and Peru. You can compare these countries and you can also go back to all the countries and select by rating. For example, let's see how many countries have an overall rating of critically insufficient. Almost sufficient, insufficient, etc. You get the point. You can sort countries alphabetically or according to the different sub ratings by clicking on the small arrows at the bottom of the different columns. If you want to know more about the rating components and net zero, just hover your mouse over those ratings to get an explanation. The data is available for download here, or you can print the table. As countries are updated on a rolling basis, the last column indicates the date of the latest published assessment. At any time, you can click on the country and go to the full analysis page. Sometimes it's useful to understand what's happening at a country at sectoral level. Now let's go to the sectoral indicators by going through the Data Explorer's page or the submenu. The 1.5 compatible sectoral benchmarks page allows you to compare and explore countries' progress against power, buildings, industry, and transport sectors. Here you can use the different drop-down menus on the left-hand side to select which sector and indicator you'd like to explore. For example, under this electricity sector, you can select share of coal in electricity generation indicator, and then select which country to look at. We'll start with Australia. And then we want to select uh, what we want to see. We can look first at historical data to see what progress has already been made and the benchmark to see what needs to happen by 2030 and beyond. You can then compare Australia to other countries by adding them. Here we've added the European Union and Canada. Or we can also change the indicator to see how renewables are expanding as coal is being phased out. Again, to see more detail on the numbers, you can hover over the graph. And here again, you can download all the data alongside with the details on the data sources by clicking on the download data button on the upper right hand side. Thanks for following along as we explain what the Data Explorer can do. I hope you enjoy having all the CAT data in one place and discovering how countries compare.